good morning guys welcome to today's video um sophie has something that she wants to tell you before we even get started with today i got the stuffed animal for daisy and she destroyed it so. in like one hour so show them all the damage that she did um, so she ripped both of his feet off ripped that so i had to sew it um ripped this whole part off i sewed that not very well i sewed this arm back on and both the ears Sophie sewed it, you guys. It Hold it up there. It doesn't look that good. She performed surgery on this adorable little bunny. So how long do you think it's going to be? Tell them about how, how you found all the stuffing. I found all the stuffing all around the house. So I just collected it and put it back put in. Put it back in. Do you think she's going to be excited? Yeah. She looks excited. You ready? You ready? Daisy bunny. Be nice to it. <laughs> Do you guys see like all the dog toys around the house? Oh, these guys are so sad. Ruby's going in to get a haircut. Soon, Sam's making an appointment for her today because she's getting a little long. I really wanted to try and push it through February so she could maintain her body temperature through February, which tends to be cold, and do it in March, but she's just, it's too long. She has to go now. But we have winter jackets for her that she can wear when, when after she gets groomed. Okay. I put your wallet under one of these cups. Don't try and guess. I don't know what one it is. And if I guess correctly, then I get to go on a shopping spree. With your money, okay? She's going to try and guess which one your wallet is under. Don't right, give her any clues. Okay, you move it around. Move okay. Around. Okay. Okay. What well, one do I, do I want to go with? This one? This one or this one. I think I'm gonna go with this one. Oh my gosh, I got it! Yay! That's so dumb. Is does the car still honk when it's turned off? Yeah, you wanna honk at your dad? Honky? <laughs> okay, you guys. So Sam. He honks at me every single flipping time. Yeah. He's always going around the back. Oh, he's a genius. Oh my gosh, he ruined it. So Sam honks the horn at Gabby. Oh my gosh, it's so hot in here. Sam honks the horn. Mm, uh, we're headed out. So we were gonna go riding on the weekend Oops, with friends and then we ended up having other plans that ended up canceling. and then you do it and then they just look mad. <laughs> we should do it again. <laughs> Get ready, Mom. Oh my gosh. Get ready when he comes back. Oh. So Sam's going to take us this week, probably on the weekend, to go trail riding. Finally, I'm going to work on Penny this week. It's supposed to be warm. We're through the cold snap. It's supposed to be warm. So we're going to go check out the spot that I have picked out for us to go for trail riding. I asked so many people, like, where do you trail ride? Where do you trail ride? And they all tell me the exact same place. It's the only place that you can really trail ride where we are that's not closed. And I'll explain when we get there why it works out. So we're gonna go check it out, take you guys with us. So how'd you feel being being honked at? Jump at all. Oh, you yeah. well, you looked mad. I was like cool. <laughs> cool. All right, so this is where we are thinking of taking the horses. I mean, we used to come here all the time and it was always free. Now the damn government wants to charge you money to park. So, you have to pay to park now. If you have not received a gate card, press the season pass holder. Oh, you can get a season pass. Huh. So yeah, I'm just gonna check it out. I mean, you could walk in and do your business in here but for me it's hard for me to walk far and if I'm bringing a horse trailer I'll be bringing it I'd have to pay to come in anyways I'm gonna have to look at the pass situation because if I can get a pass that would allow me into all the parks then I will get one because that would be the best so people park on the road. I just met a guy there. He says he parks on the road and takes his uh, cross-country skis in with him and then goes to cross-country skiing. But he parks on the road there and walks in. I mean, it's 
a free park. It's only the parking that costs money. I almost said let's ride today. Thank goodness I didn't because it's actually like over there on the path. So slippery, I can't get over it. It still shocks me every day to see four horses in the field. Penny just poked her head out. Oh, there you are. Hello. So currently we use these as treats. I have a whole bag. I just fill this bucket up. Sometimes we use carrots and often we use grain. We have two different kinds of grain here and we use that sometimes as a treat. But we're supposed to use treats that are not very appealing. Oh, you guys missed it, but Gabby is cleaning out the trailer for me, getting it all ready. Gabby actually is so thoughtful. She's so much like Sam. Like, she kind of has a gruff exterior. You guys know what men are like. But she's like so gentle. She's such a gentle soul. Like, much different than she seems on camera. And I wish you guys could see it because she's just so helpful. Like, she came down and is getting the trailer all ready for me so I can practice with Penny. I'm just worried about the ice though. I don't know why I get nervous when I'm like working on my own with my horse. I feel like Penny and I both like it better because the kids aren't running around and making noise and stuff. My mitt is full of grain. All right, I can't wear that mitt. That's a stupid mitt. Okay, Pen, you wanna go? saw very much of that I was trying to work with the ponies in here and she pinned they all just pinned their ears at each other the whole time because like Penny stop being mean all right am I gonna be able to get out good girl man when it comes to like the point where I have her trained good she's trained good like she knows how to come through the door easily with me but we're gonna go out there and we're gonna put the camera in the trailer we're gonna try this so, whoa, 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 good girl. She's excited, you know why she's excited? She's excited because she thinks she's going back out to eat in the big field, which is her favorite place to be. <laughs> she's like, I don't need to go to the big field, I'll just stand here and eat all the hay Sam left. <sighs> so I'm just waiting for Gabby. She's gonna hold her for a sec while I put the camera down. I'm, I don't have high hopes. Okay, I have high hopes because you should always think positively. It won't surprise me if she doesn't do it because I haven't been working with her consistently. Cleaned out the trailer and moved this bar. I'm trying to figure out where I can put the camera that you guys can see. I need this door open too. All right, hold on, I'm gonna have to get the trail, trail pot, tripod. I've been holding on, I wouldn't let you go. Cause every time I try, you find a loophole. I've been slamming the door and just leave you go. When I come back, you feed it up the south pole. You see my body. Just 
trick her into going up. I want <laughs> My camera just keeps turning off. I don't know if you guys got to even see any of that. She's going up and she's going up when I ask her to, taking an extra step and then I'm backing her back off and then starting again, giving her a release every time she does what I ask and then uh, and then I give her a treat. So I'm gonna see if, I just came to check the camera it was off, so I'm gonna see if she'll do it again. Come on. Ain't like an open book You know me better than I ever thought you could Oh, before I forget, our trailer is super sturdy and I'm not worried about it tipping with us walking in and out. I know some trailers do get really tippy, but she almost did it. She's scared of the ramp. And the ramp, because of the snow underneath, it doesn't feel as sturdy. But look how calm she looks. She needed to get away from the minis. Is that I have we have like a trainer that we work with remotely for stuff like this and I'm trying to remember all the things that she told me but it's hard you guys like, and I know she's scared opposed to like trying to just be defiant because she does the same thing every time look at her she's going up on the ramp all by herself do you guys see good girl <laughs> stop now because she went on and had the best experience on there and I'm gonna let her eat the hay. Okay, so I don't know if you guys saw but she went on by herself willingly and we just stayed in there for the longest time. I just stood there and talking to her and she just stayed in there. Everything I tried wouldn't work, wasn't working. Like nothing I tried was working. And then when I was standing in the trailer, I'm gonna cry. When I was standing in the trailer, I was like, do you want to come in? Come on. So I started thinking like, how do I get Penny to do things for me? How do I get her to like, the last two years at least, I've been doing like a totally different kind of training <laughs> with Penny, with all of our mares. We've been doing like um, positive reinforcement training and I taught, we taught them to come to a target. We taught them to come to a target. So our target is our hand. We use our hand instead of like a ball or something because right now we're just using it for groundwork. I can see where if you wanted to like transfer target training to be like on your horse, you wouldn't be able to use your hand necessarily. But we always have used our hand. So what we do is we put a fist and they have to fist bump us with their nose. Worked so hard to get Penny to target train and come to my fist. And she does it, so I'm gonna just try it. And so I did it. I went in there and I showed her my fist and I said, come on, and I put it out there just like we always target train. And she looked at my fist, looked at me, blinked a couple of times and then walked on the trailer and touched her nose to my hand. Then I gave her a treat. She stood there halfway in and halfway out and I moved further back and I said, okay, Penny, come and touch the target. And as soon as she saw the target, she was like, okay, I know what you want. And she walked in further, stretched her nose out and touched the target and then stood there with me. I'm so proud, you guys, of both of us. What are you doing? Watch out. Back up. Big horse coming through. Back up. Come on. Oh, she pooped. <laughs> she doesn't want to come back in here. She's like, I loved it out there. Come on. Good girl. Good girl. You are a really good girl. I'll go get you another treat, okay? We stayed in the trailer for a little while and just hung out and then 
I let it go with that because she did exactly what I wanted her to do and we had minutes in there. She had, we had minutes in there where we just stood and I was like singing to her and talking to her and she was relaxed. And so I'm gonna leave it at that for today. Tomorrow I'm gonna do it again. The next day I'm gonna do it again because it's supposed to be warm most of the week. And then I'm gonna take her for a little ride around the block like we did back in the day. Bring her home and I'm gonna try it again the next day and make sure that she, I ha and then I'm gonna try it with horses in the trailer. I'm gonna like do it five days this week. Let her have a break one day and then we're gonna go on a trail ride this weekend. That is my plan. So I apologize to any of you guys who get bored by watching me try and load my horse into the trailer a million times. It, it does stress me out when it's like taking me so long to get, to get her on there. I really want this footage so I can see progression in it so I can look back every day and see how much, how much better we've done than the day before. Don't you know 